Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 236. Table Permissions versus Web Page Access Control Rules. In our last tip, I looked at the various ways to restrict access to a Power Pages site. In this tip, I want to dive a bit more into the difference between table permissions and web page access control rules. Both of these types of permissions are given out through web rules. Web page access control rules are used to secure the web pages themselves. If a user doesn't have read permissions to a particular web page, they'll either get an access denied page if they are logged in, or they'll be prompted to log in if they are still anonymous. Pages that a user doesn't have access to won't appear in areas like menus or sitemaps. Table permissions, on the other hand, are used to control the data that appears in lists and forms, plus other things like Liquid and the Web API. If a user has permissions to view a page, but that page has a list of data or a form from a table that they do not have table permissions for, they'll see an error message where the list or form should be, but they'll still see the rest of the page. Often I get asked which of these is better to use, and most often the answer is both. Obviously you should properly secure your dataverse data using table permissions, but from a user experience standpoint, users getting to a page where they don't have access to the data is not ideal. Instead, Use web page access control rules to hide the page entirely if the user can't see that data anyways. This also keeps the menus cleaner, hiding pages that aren't relevant to the user. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 236 on table permissions versus web page access control rules useful.